Blah. <laughs> you do guns, I do teacup. And welcome to the Ribbon Tuesday. My name's Ribbon. I'm Chris. And we are reviewing the English, a new Amazon original slash BBC series that I think we're excited to talk about. It's going to be an interesting one. Let's jump in. A woman seeks revenge on the man she sees as responsible for the death of her son. Short and sweet synopsis by IMD. Thanks, IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more that goes into this series. It's six episodes, but the last episode is an epic 70 minutes. And when I say epic, it's long, like a Western often yeah. is. It builds like a Western often does. And you're going to go through moments in this series where you're like, what are you saying? Why are you saying it? This is not a poem. It's not a stage play. And then you might end up going, I really like this. Yeah, the, the pace is slow, like you would expect from a Western. Uh, the setup jumps between times, and l they do give us times on the on the screen, title cards that let us know where we are in the timeline. But that still gets a little bit confusing because there are some things that feel like they're overlapping or feel like they could be different. But what we learn later on is that no, they are actually separate timelines, and they all do converge and they they make sense. Emily Blunt spectacular in this. She's very she's quiet understated a lot of the time. There's a whole mysterious aspect to this. I mean, we know just even from the synopsis that she's chasing after somebody that she believes killed her son. That's the journey that we go on. And through this, we meet a Native American who was with the United States Army as a scout. And so that's a whole different, um, I mean, relationship that they form, this friendship bond type of thing. But even just watching his trajectory is different and pained and awkward at some times. So. Yeah, Emily Blunt is the person who sold me on the series. It's like, generally, if genuinely, if she's in anything, I will watch it because mm. I think she's a phenomenal yeah. actress. But for me, the person that held my gaze for most of the series is this Native American, the actor, uh, Mr. Spencer. I don't know his first name. Ch Chask? Ch Ch Chas Chaske? Chaske, yeah. yeah. Uh, every time he was on screen, <sighs> I he would eat up the scenery and them two together on screen then just elevates it so much more. The thing that I found very difficult with their scenes is the weird dialogue that is scripted throughout the series. It often is quick retort. They'll say one thing and they'll say a short snappy retort, which often doesn't answer the thing that the person was asking for. There's often questions that a character, Emily's character will ask and he will respond with a, a, a response that doesn't really make sense it's not answering the question and that happens throughout the series and at times it really works and the other times my brain is just like what on earth is this at times i felt like it came across really pretentious i am really smart i'm really quirky i'm really clever and it wasn't that at times and then towards the end i was like this is beautiful well done the dialogue is excellent really went on the roller coaster yeah yeah, it is. It's cryptic mm. a lot of the time. The what they're what they're saying, and you you're trying to figure out are they are they saying something behind the words, or is it just stunted dialogue at times? And you know the uh, especially with Spencer's character, he speaks minimally. Mm. I mean, he only uses words that he needs to, which becomes frustrating at times and often like obscured on what the meaning could be. The cinematography in this mm. is phenomenal. I mean, not only do we have just the landscapes that are captured, but just all of the shot choices that they choose. Yeah. Um, I mean, we had talked about like silhouetting yeah. a lot of the time because you have on, on the range, you have somebody riding or walking or just sitting, whatever that is. And a lot of the time they're backlit by the sun, sun setting or the sunrise. And it's just, it really is just awe inspiring. There's this scene that it's a super wide shot, a silhouette, the dusk is coming and there's a horrific scene being played out on screen and they don't cut away from it. But because it's so far away, you get to experience all the horrificness of it without being placed in it. So it allows you the freedom to go, oh, I don't like what's going on. Uh, also experience it because they don't cut away from it. So it's like a juxtaposition and you get to experience both sides. I don't want to watch this, but I'm also watching it because it's wide. Very clever choice selection. It's not just beautiful to watch, but purposely chosen. Well crafted in those moments. And then other moments, I was just like, why have you given me a whole episode that's dialogue heavy when the previous episode was super light it does literally do juxtapositions throughout this series yeah and and part of the story like i really enjoyed the story and the overall arc of it but there is a point in the middle where we were questioning like 
why is this episode even here? I mean, it feels like we've taken off on this huge tangent and some of the information is a little bit important, especially as we get to know later down the road. But I think as a whole, we could have probably cut out a large chunk of at least one of the episodes. Yeah, for, for real. Yeah, we could have had, I think like British BBC series normally are four to six episodes and the four episode series are tight. That's not to say they don't do hour long episodes. It's just that they tell the story that is needed without dragging. Because you're Western, you have some free license because people have an expectation yeah. of it's gonna be that sort of storytelling. Unfortunately, there are times when this feels like we don't need this bit of padding. Mm -hmm. We don't need that scene in there. I don't want it snappy, but I also want the pacing to be relevant. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because I don't want this. I don't want the story told faster than it was mm. because it, it would take it out of that feeling of a Western, I think. More efficient storytelling and give us the bits that, that really do matter. And those ones that just, yeah, take us off on the tangent. I think those are... Eh. However, on a positive side... I was amazed at the emotion that the series was able to evoke in me while I was watching. And that ranged from comedy to like elevated moods that I wasn't expecting to some retorts that Emily has on occasion. She'll be very dark in her mood and then she'll retort with something and you'll be like, that's hilarious. Uh, it's a juxtaposition that we sometimes needed. Mm -hmm. And then there will be moments that you're just blown away by what you're watching on screen because it's beautiful, but also really dark, yeah. like gut punching where the story re reveals something and you're like, oh, I thought it was bad. It's way worse now. Yeah, it really does. It takes, I mean, it has this emotional pull to the story and it does gut punch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, oh, wait, oh, I didn't see that coming. And that's, that's not okay. Um, I think they handle, for a lot of the violence that we see, I mean, there is violence within this. And I mean, it's a, it's a violent time, mm. you know, and so we do get to see that. But we don't always see all of the violence, which I think I appreciate too. Yeah, it's sometimes it's off screen. And you get yeah. to see what the characters are experiencing because they know what's happening. Yeah. And you, so you're with them and you also don't want to see it, but you know it's happened. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there were there was oof, that one uh, on the mountain that was just we're, we're hearing things and we know what's going on. And it's just it, it is horrific and it is touching. And I mean, it, it, it's affecting to you. It's clever because your mind often is worse than what they could possibly show you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So all in all, I think this was a long ride, but is worth watching for the performances and the cinematography. If you can handle some of that slow pacing in the middle, I think you're going to be I don't want to say entertain because it is entertainment, but it is harrowing. There's a melancholy sadness to it, especially the latter three episodes as the story reveals itself. You just kind of get sadder and, and, and sink into a depression. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, but really entertaining. Yeah, yeah. And there is an urgency that begins to build in those last three episodes. I mean, you see the tension just starting to really ramp up as things are coming together and everything is being revealed so that we are now all of the pieces are falling together and we're understanding this. You know, it's a limited series, which I am thankful for. Yeah. I, I was worried, are we going to continue on with this? Because I don't see how it's going to. It would just feel really dragged out. Mm. So six episodes. It's a satisfying ending. Yeah. Um, it, it is a little bit melancholy, mm. maybe, you know, but it is fitting with the tone of the story and it feels, it feels earned. It doesn't feel like we have been cheapened or we've gotten a like a shortcut mm. to how the how the story concludes for us. Yeah. Some of the dialogue is magical. Some of the dialogue is fantastic. And by the time I got to the end, I appreciated what they were doing with the script. So things fell into place and I understood what they were trying to say. And so I would give this probably a four. <laughs> and you got one. When it's all said and done, I still really enjoyed it. Even though I want to remove some of that, like a whole episode, the performances, the costume design, the cinematography, as a thing that is made, a series, it's, I can't, I can't fault it that much. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I do four also. For all the things you said, mm. really. I mean, the, the cinematography is absolutely stunning. I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm sucked in mm. to all of the visuals. The acting is is really engaging. And the, the villains, whew, they are villains. I mean, you really don't like them. Yeah. The heroes become heroic. 
And even when they are trying not to be, they're still heroic and they rise above. And so that's really great. The overall story, it did suck me in. The dialogue did take a little bit to, to click. And yeah, you're right. I mean, I would have trimmed down some of the episodes, but all in all, a lot of fun. There's no sex. There is some brief nudity, a little bit of profanity or some profanity. There's a lot of violence. Um, and then there's just the the imagery mm. of violence, which is pretty horrific as well. Yeah, there's an adult theme mm -hmm. of stories and things that have happened that is definitely adult. Let us know in the comments. Uh, what's your favorite Western? What do you... <laughs> have you have you heard of this? The opening credits or the, the title sequence feels like it's almost like a graphic novel. Oh, it's so weird. It, 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 it read it through me. <laughs> but if, if, if you've read what it's based on, I don't even know if it is a book, but... Let us know, what's your favorite Western? Tell us in the comments below. I'd also like to know if you've ever ridden a horse and how did you find it? It looks uncomfortable. Uh, I've ridden a few, it is uncomfortable. Yeah, it just, especially the galloping part because those saddles, yeah, like, they're not actually cushiony. Go with the but No, I can't. Yeah, oh, yeah. bad news. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday. Kapla. Kapla.